How we doing everybody? This is Blaine Wheeler back for week two of the Standard Sports Weekly video. And first, of course, you got to always start off with football and then we'll go down the line. Football, a bad loss against Western Illinois. Volleyball also struggled this week. Men's soccer got back in the wins column. And women's soccer, they're just coming up for the Valley Tournament. It's going to be here in just a few days. We'll see how they finish their season against Drake. We'll have all that and more here on the Standard Sports video. Now for Missouri State football, they lost a game they really couldn't afford to lose in the middle of the season just Saturday. The homecoming at Bearfest Village, a lot of people coming back into town. People like Clay Harbor, former Missouri State alums, uh, excited about Missouri State football and what they have done in the past. One week ago, Missouri State knocked off Indiana State in a huge fashion on a last second touchdown catch from Lorenzo Thomas. But this week... The Bears' offense didn't show as much steam as it has all year long, and really the same for the defense. It was just a, a tough, tough outing. Coach was not very happy at the end. Peyton Huesley threw two interceptions in a rough first 30 minutes of football where the Bears only gained 151 yards offensively. And in concern, the rushing attack was at its worst this season, rushing for a combined 68 yards. Now, Western Illinois has one of the best defensive fronts in the nation, as Mar Mar uh, Keese, excuse me, offensive lineman Marquise Prophet said that the performance was not very good from them, but they've got to get better. Every play that we had, I mean, we saw what we did wrong. It wasn't a matter of what they did. It was 100% of what we did. So we have to take that upon ourselves to say, like, okay, well, how can I be better the next time? How can I block better against this guy? I mean, they have one of the best D-lines we're probably going to see in the country. I mean, but, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we got beat, but, I mean... We know we can change. We know we can do to get better. Bottom line is, the Bears weren't good enough on either side of the ball Saturday. Western Illinois behind star quarterback Sean McGuire, who was nearly at the top of all categories in the MVC, played his best game of the year, and so did Western Illinois. The veteran Bears defense that we thought would be so good at the start of the year has struggled as of late, and the Bears defense gave up 565 total yards Saturday. So if you compare that to what the Bears gained, it's almost a 300-yard difference. But looking at the numbers of this defense, they are 103rd in the nation in third-down conversion against, a stat that must improve for the Bears going forward behind a veteran defense. This defense has the personnel, two of the best linebackers in the league, some veterans at corner and safety, and even a good defensive line. But down the stretch, they are the ones that are going to have to step up. They've been doing really well, quite frankly, until Saturday. You know, And when I say Saturday, our football team has been responding well in conference play until Saturday. From me all the way down to the equipment manager, we got our tails whacked. So now we're going to go back to the drawing board and start over. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of confidence in this football team. And we got to make sure that we don't lose that confidence because of one football game. Because there's so much uh, ahead of us. More importantly, some of the noise ahead of us. And, we don't prepare and focus all our energy on them. They're going to come in and do the same thing Western did. Coming up, you play a Southern Illinois team that's lost six straight games, and this is where the Bears can bounce back and keep going on a roll. As Coach Deckel would say, the sky's not falling. It's one loss. The Bears have had some good already this year, so they just need to get back in that right direction and get things rolling again. You going? Good. Now to Missouri State Volleyball. When it looked like the Lady Bears and the volleyball team were headed in the right direction last week, winning four of its last five, they took a step in the wrong direction this week, losing two straight games. Now, albeit they were to two good conference opponents on the road against Bradley Friday in Illinois State Saturday. So in the losses, Aubrey Cheffy, one of the top people who is up and coming in this offense. She combined for 25 kills and then Amelia Flynn who is a young star who's been getting a lot of lot of action here recently had 23 kills combined. But the opponents, like I said, two of the best in the Valley. Illinois State's a 10-win team and Bradley is a 7-win team both in conference play. But here looking forward, the Lady Bears are going to take about a 180 turn on the teams they play in the next three. All teams they have beat in Southern Illinois Valparaiso and Evansville. There again, all teams that are towards the bottom of the Missouri Valley Conference this season. So it's a time for the Lady Bears to start rolling again as they won again for their last five before, then won a three game skid. Maybe they can go on another hot stretch here. Out of Missouri State's men's soccer, they're still good and are still winning. The men's soccer team, as you might have heard earlier, started a scorching 7-0-1 this season. 
Lost the first time of the year last week against Loyola, the top team in the Valley. And then Saturday, Gonzaga made the long trip from the West Coast to the Midwest to get beat by the Men Bears one to nothing. Now, Gonzaga, they're not very good. The loss moved them to 2 10 and 2 on the season, but it was a good win for the Bears to gain back momentum after that loss against Loyola. Josh Dooling, of course, he was the man to punch in the only goal for Missouri State Saturday. He now has nine goals this season and ranks 26th in the nation in goals per game, averaging 0.69 goals per. The Bears are currently ranked in second in the conference with just a few weeks to play before the Valley Tournament begins. And uh, there's some tough ones. Fifth-ranked Drake on the road. And then you come back home to second-ranked Central Illinois at home November the 3rd for the last game of the regular season. So, final weeks of the tournament coming up. Hopefully the Bears can get hot. And I think it's just looking at this team and how they've done all year, this is the hottest team and the most fun team to watch here at this university. So if you have a chance at November the 3rd, go see them play or at least catch them in that Valley Tournament for a hopeful championship run. Now to women's soccer. As of today, women's soccer sits in fifth place in the Valley. Only six of the eight Valley teams make it into the Valley Tournament, which begins Sunday. But the Lady Bears, as is again, have a spot in at that fifth spot. Last season, the Lady Bears took a second place squad to the championship that was hosted here at Missouri State, if you can remember, and they won it in big fashion. It was a big party here. So so awesome to see, but this season has been a little bit different. The Bears, fine, Lady Bears, finally moved above 500, and are now 1-1-1 one, one, and one in their last three games. So again, if one loss, one win, one tie, because uh, soccer has those ties and losses like that. So all three point of the being, one was a win, and the two that were a loss and a tie both went into overtime. So there's some close games for the Lady Bears here at the end. But they're battling for that bottom spot and those last spots into the conference championship here. The Bears are 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. They're the week the tie against Valparaiso would outrule anything else because the Bears would have a better record and they would then get the spot. So just talking to myself in my head like this to you, the Bears should be in no matter what come that conference championship here that starts first round Sunday. So we'll see how they play against Drake coming up this week. It's the last game of the season for the Lady Bears. And then again, like I said, that conference tournament coming up should be a lot of fun. That's it. A short one this week, but thanks for watching. And again, I have a podcast too as well. This video and a podcast we're starting to do. The podcast is going to be Google Play, iTunes Store, all that good stuff. We're going to have one-on-one -on -one interviews with Ryan Krecklow, Jared Dixon, and Obadiah Church. I'm going to publish those out for you to listen to from Missouri State Basketball Media Day. Their season's coming up as soon as you can think here in November. It's all right around the corner. So get a listen to that. Keep watching these videos. We're going to have a lot of fun together throughout the rest of the year. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Blaine Wheeler, and we'll see you next time.